Hi, I'm Olivia Wayne here with Joe Cole, ambassador for Nova 88, talking all things football, of course. Let's start with the big one, the Champions League final, an all English final. Yeah. Just deciding where it's going to be at the moment, but who do you see winning this one? Talk me through it. So exciting. If you'd have asked me three weeks ago, I think the sensible money would have been on Manchester City, but I think since the semi final where Chelsea won and the last league game, again, where it was a dominant performance, and sometimes in football, one team just got another team's number. You know, it happened with my Chelsea team during the, the, the mid noughties where we was we were better than Liverpool, but they just had our number in crucial times, tactically, wherever it was, they could just get over the line. And I think Chelsea have that over Man City. There's a crucial part of the game is who Tuchel decides to play in the front three. I think with it being Werner, I think he really gives you movement. Diaz likes to see the game, the centre half of Man City, he likes to see the game in front of him. Whereas Werner, I think, he's all wrong for him when he, he constantly, perpetual motion, he's moving inside, and I think he gives them a lot of problems. So I think Tino Werner will be a good bet. He's had a difficult season for the first goal in the final because I think there'll be lots of space for him to run into. It suits his game down to the ground. OK, what about uh, Man City? Any players be putting your money on their well, first goal? Well, if Man City are going to do it, it's going to be done through controlling the possession, controlling the football. Pep, what he's done differently with his team now is he's actually gone counterintuitively against what every coach tells you when you win the ball and you can go forward first and you go and you attack quick. Pep seems to be content with winning the ball, controlling possession, then setting up for attacks, which allows people like Mares, Foden, De Bruyne to, to, to be in good positions and receive the ball in a half turn and be able to... To dominate, but there's a host of players in the Man City team that, that I love and, and I think are fantastic players. But the one player I think I've got a soft spot for is Phil Foden because he's he's such a talent. I think he's the best young English talent we've produced since Wayne Rooney. I just, it excites you when he gets the ball, and not just that. You look at him having Pep Guardiola as a mentor, Man City as a club, how well structured it is with his attributes. It's, a, it's like it's a match made in heaven. I, I could never compare him to Lionel Messi because that would be unfair on any player that's ever kicked the football but when Lionel Messi come through at Barcelona in that system in that model with that genius and then we've seen what he's got on to become the greatest player we've ever seen in my opinion I think Phil Foden has a similar environment to grow and it's down to him how good he can become but he, he, he'll be one to watch in the final Alright let's get some score predictions then I think both teams will score I think Man City although they're coming up against Chelsea's impregnable defence. I think they're the best attacking unit with the most options. So I think they'll score, but I think Chelsea, and I think Werner in particular, catching them out on the counter-attack when Chelsea win the ball. Almost the opposite of Man City in a sense that they go and Pulisic or Mount will receive it on half turn and they'll drive and the whole team gets up in in, un, in unison. It's, it's, it's really exciting to watch. It sounds exciting. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. so I, I think Chelsea will win 2-1. 2-1. Yeah, with Werner getting one and Mason Mount, the, the young local hero, <laughs> maybe getting a winner, which will be... A Hollywood you know, ending. Fairy tales, fairy tales. <laughs> All right, Joe. Wow, you've given us so much insight and intel and knowledge. Your experience is like no other. Thank you so much. Looking forward Thank to you, some Olivia. excellent finals yeah. and a brilliant tournament ahead. Thank you very much.